With kids heading back to school, the state is solidifying its official COVID-19 guidance. This guidance includes mandatory weekly COVID testing for all school employees unless they're fully vaccinated. Masks are all being required at all times indoors and students should maintain three feet of social distance and six feet is recommended among those who are not fully vaccinated. Also, also all close contacts of someone who has tested positive for COVID must quarantine unless they are fully vaccinated. Buffalo Public School students return to the classroom next week and the district is asking families to return the devices from last year as soon as possible. Reporter Lilia Wood is following this story for us tonight. She joins us live in Buffalo. Lilia. Well, Hannah, the, public, the Buffalo Public School students are returning to the classroom in five days. And while most are going in person, they still use those iPads and laptops every single day. And this makes a problem for the IT department because more than a quarter of those laptops that they gave out last year have not been returned yet. We are urging parents and students to bring the devices back as soon as possible. BPS's chief technology officer, Myra Burden, says the district gave out 31,000 laptops and iPads last school year. Yet they're still waiting for 8,000 to be returned. We did have some students that kept their devices through summer school. Um, it could be some carryover from end of the school year. The IT department needs those devices back now. The school year starts on Wednesday. There's a, a very thorough process that our IT department um, goes through to sanitize those, re-image them, make any repairs, make sure they're secure and ready to go back out to our students. Board of Education member at large Larry Scott tells me the district has been proud of its one-to-one -one technology program since 2017. And they want to keep it that way, especially for some of our kids that have maybe fallen behind a little bit or are struggling in some areas, regardless of the pandemic. Those devices provide programs that can be supplemental to what they're getting daily in the classroom. Scott says it's important that these devices get returned, but he is excited for the students to have time away from the screens. I'm OK if they start this year without a device or have some time away from that device because they need that in person instruction and interaction. Burden says the sooner the devices are returned, the better. If possible, she asked the students to bring their laptops to 1515 South Park Avenue. We are cautiously optimistic that a number of those devices will be returned next week when schools reopen. So what happens if the devices are not returned? We will work through um, the uh, possibility of how we fill that gap. And Burden tells me that the school di district did order 14,000 more laptops and iPads that will be here in the next month and hopefully distributed by the end of September. Reporting live in Buffalo, Lilia Wood, 7 Eyewitness News. All right.